Hello everyone, welcome back to NGNC. Today we will talk about one of the most important topic in maternity. As we all know, maternity is the big part of your NCLEX RN exam for your RPN, LVN exam. So please watch this full video to understand better. So we will be talking about GTPAL. First, we will understand what is the meaning of each term and where we use it. So, is ka basically meaning kya hai ki humne jab humare pas pregnant woman hai, uski jo history hoti hai, history leni hai pregnancy ki, G is a gravidity, gravidity is number of times a woman has been pregnant. So, is me humne kya kya include karna hai, number of times woman has been pregnant, total. Inclu including current pregnancy, if the woman is currently pregnant, we have to include that any miscarriages, abortions and currently living. Everything will be included in this one. So remember the key term is number of times a woman has been pregnant. So number of pregnancies in total. T is term, term birth. This means number of children born at 37 weeks. So the keyword is here 37 weeks. Term means complete 9 month or more than that. So 37 or verb 37. T is preterm birth. Preterm birth हमें पता है कि if the baby is born before 37 weeks उसे हम क्या बोलते हैं preterm baby. So इसमें भी P meaning preterm उसका meaning क्या है number of children born at 22 between 20 to 37 weeks. So remember the word 20, 37 हमने यहाँ पे पढ़ा था. Before 20 क्या होगा? That will be abortion or miscarriage. Less than 20, abortion or miscarriage which is A. L is living children, number of children currently living. So the keyword in these terms are, कई बारी students को confusion होती है कि हमने number of pregnancies count करनी है. जहाँ फिर हमने number of children count करने हैं। So L is the living. This is the only where we will count twins, triplets count as individual. So twins means दो baby, triplet three babies born together. उसको हम एक नहीं count करेंगे, उसको individually count करना है। One, two, three. One, two. But यहाँ पे अगर हमारे पास twins हैं, count as one. T pe twins or triplets count as one. P pe preterm twins count as one. Abortion and miscarriage twins or triplets count as one. L for living children. This is the only thing in GTPL. L is the only one. Jaha pe humne children hai jo us ko count karna hai not the pregnancies. So, this question ko samjhne ke liye ek aapko pata hona chahiye these terms. Kahi bari exam mein aapko denge ye terms. Nolly means a woman who has never been pregnant. So, nolly means a woman who has never been pregnant. So, primary means first time pregnancy and multi means two or more pregnancies. So, isko hum samjhenge ek question practice ke saath. Agar aap mere student ho, you know after each topic, I believe in practicing questions because knowledge ko samaj sab students lete hai easy but usko apply karna questions mein is one of the hardest thing. So, hum learn karenge ki is knowledge ko hume pata hai, hume knowledge mil gi, hume topic mil gya. NCLEX point of view se 101% aapko ye exam mein aa sakta hai. Students dekhte hai ye questions aapko bhi aa sakta hai. So, make sure you understand better and remember that L is living children. This ko hum individually count karna hai. In ko humne twins ko ek hi count karna hai. So the nurse is collecting data during first prenatal visit. First prenatal visit meaning woman is currently pregnant. Dekhte hai agar humo information humme di hai next. Who is currently pregnant with twins? अगर हमें ये information ना भी दी होती, who is currently pregnant with twins, हमने वैसे भी ये question solve कर लेना था, क्योंकि हमें पता है prenatal visit, हमने ये count करनी ही करनी थी G में, patient has 6 year old, 
patient has six year old child who was delivered at 38 weeks client shared she does not have a history of any abortion or miscarriage no history no history you GTPL what should the nurse document in the chart so kya aapne note kiya jab mein question read kar rahi thi what I do so I highlighted maine highlight kiya hai jo information hume chahiye so this is the same strategy you can use while you are practicing your questions aapne highlight karni hai information distractor jo hota hai question mein hoye ga hi hoye ga usko ignore karna hai so this is what I did in my questions. So now, हमने क्या करना है? Always जब आप GTPL का question solve करते हो, you can write something like this. G T P A L. ठीक है जी? इससे क्या होगा? आप confuse नहीं होगे. G is we know G is gravity number of times a woman has been pregnant. So देखते हैं कितने बार, ठीक है? The nurse is collecting data first prenatal visit one. 38 week में deliver हुआ था one right again she has a baby who is currently alive six year old right so two total two one here she is currently pregnant one here she has a baby now t what is t term birth term birth का meaning क्या है जो भी baby born हुए हैं 37 weeks और above 37 weeks so, जो उसका baby है currently alive, उसको देखते हैं, she born at 38 weeks. So, it means term will be 1, 38 weeks. P is preterm birth. So, there is no a line, there is no information regarding the preterm birth. So, P will be 0, P will be 0. A, A is abortion. So we already read in the question that client shared कि कोई भी abortion और miscarriage history नहीं है, so it will be zero. L we already know 38 weeks का उसका baby है जो alive है, L will be one. So what will be our answer? Our answer is two. So hopefully this video is helpful.